G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I just got to start off by saying there's heavy spoilers in this video, so unless you've cleared chapter 14, I would click away now. So this guide is going to be how to get the Oryx Cookeries, and these are great weapons. The, they aren't the best dagger, but the stats they give you are amazing. So if you can just have them in a slot, it'll boost all your stats, and for that purpose alone, they're just they're a must get. So for this to work, you have to be at the towards the end of chapter 14, and you have to have just defeated Ifrit. Uh, I've just gone into the building where you're meant to take the lift up to see Arden. But before you do that, run into where the lift is, and then run back out into the courtyard with the fountain, and you'll notice that there's two red giants spawned. Now, for me to get this to work, I had to kill the two red giants, so make sure you go and finish them off. It, it's a bit of a fight, but by this point you should have the gear to deal with it. Uh, I got lucky and I think I used a summon on these guys and it just absolutely floored them, but otherwise magic is a pretty good choice. So after you've killed them, you're going to head back pretty much towards where you first started, actually the first uh, hotel on this map. So just keep running through, and as you run through, this step is not... I'm not sure how important it is, but it helped me um, kill all the enemies that you come across. Uh, well, in this last section anyway, there was a... Um, starts off with like a spider chick, make sure you take her out. And the next one after that is going to be a, um, a samurai or like a Yojimbo type of enemy. But for me, I couldn't get the the boss, the Psychomancer, to spawn until I killed these enemies, so I'm not sure how much of a role that plays, but if you're having trouble, just come through, kill them all, and see what happens. They're all fairly easy to take out, apart from the Nagas. They are an absolute pain. There's two of them, they can petrify you, or sorry, they can turn you into toads, which is just a nightmare. I think they're... I actually had a harder time with them than I did the boss. So, yeah, but keep at it. Just make sure you remember they can heal up sometimes, so just keep the pressure on them. Uh, use Quintast magic or Limit Break magic on them and they should go down pretty quick. There's also a Nagelfar, I think his name is, or Nagel... Bleh, 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 bleh. It's some big uh, mech guy that you'll have to take out too. Now, where you fight him is going to be the area where the Psycho... Uh, Psychomancer spawns, so it's important to kill him. Uh, I've had him up. I don't think he can spawn with the uh, the mech up still. Also, you might sometimes encounter a group of soldiers where the Psychomancer spawns. If that's the case, just clear them as well. And if you've done all that and you still haven't got the Psychomancer to spawn, you can either go down into the hotel and sleep there, and when you come back up, there's a possibility you'd spawn. But if still not, you can kind of retrace your steps and go do the loop and come back to this spot as I did here and you'll hopefully see him spawned. Like I said, this is not an exact science. So you can see there my uh, my location on the map. This is not an exact science the way I was doing it, but this is the way I got it to spawn. It might work for you that you just kill the two red giants and you come here and the psychomancer's is up. And if so, good on you. But otherwise, just try a few different measures to get him up. Now once he's killed, he'll drop a blue sparkly, and all you do is run over to that, and you have your daggers. And I'll show you these stats here, the, again. Uh, like I said, they're good to have as a... just equipped for your status boost. Um, I use this little crossblades from the legendary quests, because they've got higher attack, but the stats these give you are... It, it's what makes it, it's fantastic, it's really good. Uh, that combined with like the Balmung sword in another slot is even better for stat boosts. So guys, I hope that helped you out and you were able to get the Kukri's uh, the first time. If not, uh, just leave a comment below and I'll try and help you as best I can. Uh, if this video helped you out, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks very much guys, have a good one. This is Lemon Eating Cow. Um...